So the news is out. Sorry to keep you waiting, complicated business. And here we go. Donald Trump is Michael Myers. When you think he's gone, he keeps coming back. Two assassination attempts, a meme coin, FBI raids, and Elon Musk doing jumping jacks, and Donald Trump is now the first president to serve non-consecutive terms since Grover Cleveland. While the media focus this week will be on immigration, abortion, and robots taking over the world, we're here to talk about Trump's new economic policies, and of course, what it means for your crypto bags. There's a lot of new proposals in Trump's January economic plan that will directly affect you and your family. There's also the Project 2025 plan. While Trump says he's not directly involved in Project 2025, he's hiring many advisors from the Heritage Foundation, the folks behind the plan. And yes, these Heritage Foundation people have a few ideas about how to regulate crypto. We'll tell you if it's as terrifying as the Democrats claim. While Kamala could have been better on the economy than old Joe or Obama, most experts and Americans agree this is Trump's forte as a businessman. It's why stocks and crypto are pumping right now. And this pump could bring us to 100K Bitcoin before Christmas. So what's Trump's next move for the economy? I'm Isaiah McCall and let's get into it. But first, a word from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by Freedom Fighters. Buy Freedom Tokens to vote for your favorite candidate this election season, either Comicop or Magatron. The choice is yours. You can also stake Freedom Tokens and get some sweet rewards. So check it out in the description below. Now, back to the video. Is Trump the best pro crypto candidate. I saw Donald Trump live in Nashville for the Bitcoin conference 2024. While parts of his speech were dark like Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars, Trump also changed everything for crypto and digital assets. Here's a rapid fire of everything Trump said he'll do. Fire SEC chair Gary Gensler. Create a strategic Bitcoin stockpile, AKA never sell the current US Bitcoin stack. He said he would create a crypto task force ending antagonistic regulations against crypto within the first 100 days. He also said he would stop Operation Choke Point, that was under Joe Biden. And Trump says he won't tax your capital gains 50% like the Biden-Harris administration. Rather than traveling back to 2010 and telling co-creator of Bitcoin, Hal Finney, that the same guy from Home Alone 2 would create a strategic Bitcoin reserve. As Trump put it, the reason I'm into Bitcoin is two words, America first. We want places like China to be successful with Bitcoin, but we want America to be the most successful. If crypto is going to define the future, I want to be mined, minted, and made in the USA. It's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon, I want America to be the nation that leads the way. And that's what's going to happen. Here are some other new policies going to Trump's economic plan, which he revealed in a speech at the Economic Club of New York. The first and most salient would be an end to sanctions. While the Biden-Harris administration saw Russia as anathema, Trump was pledged to end sanctions and seek options for peace to end the Ukraine war. According to Trump, Russia, China, and North Korea will not be enemies. However, Trump added that tariffs would play a crucial role in his foreign policy as they did in 2016. Here's Trump at the Economic Club of New York. Because look, you're losing Iran, you're losing Russia. China is out there trying to get their currency to be the dominant currency as you know better than anybody. All of these things are happening. You're losing so many countries because there's so much conflict with all of these countries that you're going to lose that and we can't lose that. So uh, I want to use sanctions as little as possible. Another centerpiece of the proposal was to create a Department of Government Efficiency Commission, aka DOGE. Yes, this is Dogen real. And use this new group to look for ways to reduce wasteful spending. Trump said he got the idea from Tesla CEO and Doge father, Elon Musk, and would ask him to head the commission. Elon reportedly wants to fire 80% of the federal government or about 3 million people which is a wild number. We might be looking at Twitter 2.0. Whatever you think of this policy, every government employee might capital riot if this happened. But like we said, the same thing went down at Twitter, so who knows? Another of Trump's plans was to eliminate spending on the Green New Deal, a Democratic-led plan against climate change. Trump also vowed to increase US oil production. Drill, baby, drill. Lastly, Trump said he would keep in place tax cuts that are set to expire in 2025. In this plan, he will eliminate taxes on tips. Shout out to all the waiters. To be honest, while I was researching, there really wasn't much else to Trump's economic plans outside of this. That's why I had to go deeper and see what Project 2025 had to say. Here's what it has to say for regulating crypto. Project 2025, a new radical conservative plan. Ich 
society. So this is how Liberty dies. With thunderous applause. Project 2025 is like Voldemort to the Democratic Party. We do not speak his name. If you've been living under a rock, Project 2025 is the enigmatic playbook for Donald Trump's second administration, published by the Republican-led Heritage Foundation. An NBC poll showed just 4% of Americans had a favorable view of Project 2025. Meanwhile, 57% have a negative view. This means Project 2025 is less popular for Americans than socialism. Trump himself has said that anyone from Project 2025 is radioactive to his administration. He wants nothing to do with it. But two things can be true at once. Trump could want nothing to do with Project 2025 and also hire many of the people from the Heritage Foundation because they are the top players in the Republican Party. This is the political atmosphere we live in. So is Project 2025 an albatross around Trump's neck? Or is it perfection as some Republicans believe? As with most things in life, the answer lies somewhat in the middle. There's some extreme policies that go into this plan. Like, well, we're gonna use the word corn here because if not, YouTube would demonetize us. You know what we mean when we say corn. Anyway, Project 2025 not only wants to ban corn, but lock up all corn actors in jail for life. Yeah, pretty freaking extreme. Project 2025 also wants to centralize power in the presidency to streamline bureaucracy for quicker policy rollouts by the executive branch. This could turn the US into a de facto monarchy. You should read Silicon Valley philosopher Curtis Yarvin if you're interested in learning more about that. Here's some other things from the plan that could go into effect. We're only gonna focus on the crypto, economic, and immigration side of things because we could be here for hours combing through everything. Starting with crypto, the plan will encourage the development of government-backed digital currencies to compete with the decentralized ones. The biggest push here would be a return to a gold-backed currency. Ideally, a gold-backed currency would appeal to sound money and limit inflation, but it's also kind of a pipe dream that will probably never ever come true. In Project 2025, there's also a strong push to abolish the Federal Reserve. The plan also seeks to radically overhaul the Fed and inspire more congressional oversight of U.S. monetary policy. It also proposes a simplified tax system. This means reducing the current seven federal income tax brackets to just two, 15% and 30%, eliminating most tax deductions and credits. The maximum rate, however, for capital gains and dividends will be cut from 20% to 15%, incentivizing investment and entrepreneurship, especially in higher income sectors. Hell, the Donald himself wants a 0% capital gains tax. Not bad. The final part of Project 2025 we want to focus on are the most controversial things. If those last things weren't already controversial. Hell, we bet Karl Marx is rolling in his grave hearing us break all this down. Anyway, the plan proposes new child labor laws. More specifically, relaxing child labor laws to allow teenagers to work in more industries provided they have parental consent. Chinese sweatshops, here we come. Another contentious proposal is the elimination of several regulatory bodies, including the Federal Trade Commission or the FTC, to reduce regulatory overreach and encourage free market principles. Lastly, there would be a strong focus on limiting immigration, emphasizing a merit-based immigration system to protect U.S. workers and reduce competition for jobs. I will rescue Aurora and every town that has been invaded and conquered. We will begin the task of finding and deporting every single illegal alien gang member from our country will get them out. All in all, the fate of Project 2025 and its implications for the economy hinges on Trump's picks from the Heritage Foundation and how fiercely Congress resists or approves of these policies. We'll be paying close attention to who Trump adds to his staff. As of now, billionaires Howard Lutnick and Jared Kushner will be making selections for Trump's cabinet. Two guys who could be solid or massively suck. So we'll see. Final thoughts. With crypto lobbyists 
pouring $119 million into his election cycle. Let's hold Trump accountable for his promises to our community. We will likely see a more aggressive run-up of risk on assets like Bitcoin, Tesla, and AI stocks under Trump. However, we do want to take a moment here to mention we appreciate Kamala's pivot to crypto over the last few months of her campaign. We hope that Democrats embrace crypto, blockchain, AI, and free speech, and it doesn't become a partisan issue like it was in BTC Nashville. Those red hats are a bit much. The 2024 election was the last piece of the puzzle in locking this bull run. Now that Trump's in, we're likely about to get a Santa Claus rally to end the year. Ho, 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 mother Hopefully over the next four years, things do get better for all Americans. Remember that while who's president is important, you have the most impact on what happens in your life. We're sure that we will be a better country in four years, but will you be a better version of yourself? Buckle up, the next four years are about to be a wild ride. Hey guys, we're trying to bring a lot more long form, high quality videos like this to the channel. So if you like these, please comment down below, like and subscribe, let us know so we can keep these going and so my boss doesn't fire me. And if you wanna check out more of the long form, high quality content we're trying to do, be sure to check out videos here, there, they're probably gonna pop up somewhere. So check those out, have a good day.